Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Outdoor... Get to work! Yay! I did it right. No, not at all. Um, so, I did, um, you... I... I can't even speak, okay? I came from school. I fell asleep in all my classes. Um, I didn't get any sleep last night because I wanted to play Get to Work. Um, yeah, I've been having a hard time because of this game lately. But anyways, you guys, I did it off camera. But I sold the business. I did go out to map view and I sold that there and I sold <laughs> I can't even speak. And I sold the business that Lolita did buy at the very beginning. Cause we're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait till we have money. We can't even have a business until we have lots of money. Cause you have to buy stuff for it. It's just it's too much. So I did sell her business and get my three thousand extra simoleons back off camera. And I used that to build a nursery for the babies. You guys are probably wondering. Where is this nursery? The nursery is actually downstairs. Look, I did make a little basement down there for the nursery, since you are allowed to have basements in The Sims 4 now, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Can I put this there? Oh, I don't think I can put wallpaper between those two. But yes, I did put a baby's room downstairs, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little tour. Um, so it's just kind of basic, kind of empty, because I wanted to keep some money left over. But anyways, here's a little dinosaur thing for, you know, the babies to see how tall they are. Just a little, just some decor items. Bunnies on the wall, a green tree in the background, a little blarfy teddy bear for them to talk to when they begin to get older. A little bookshelf, because I didn't know what else to put over here. Our cribs with our little babies. We have Carter Adams, and we have Carmen Adams. So we have a boy and a girl, Carter and Carmen. And I've already figured it out, you guys. Carmen is lying to herself because the liquor's top shelf. She is going to... um. She's going to grow up and be a mad scientist. She starts off as this sweet little girl, and she's going to grow up and eventually become this evil mad scientist. I think that's what I want her to do. Let me know if that's what you guys want to see Carmen become. Um, but anyways, two little pictures up here. Bunny rabbit, two little hanging. Um, what are these called? I forget. Urgh. They have a name. I know they have a name. Crap. I just forget what they're called. I forget what they're called. Oh, a baby mobile. There it is. God, I knew it. And we have rabbits on the wall. We have clouds and a moon on the wall. Just some decor items. And then last but not least, we have a little toy chest and a little blue rug with stars and a moon on it. It's kind of basic down here, but oh well. Color and intest inte intestines. Intensity. Um, All lights. Um, I'm going to put it all the way up here. Yes, put the brightness all the way up. You can make the lights green. Ooh, you can make them green. That is cool. I didn't even know that. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, I really like that. That's awesome. But anyways, that's what that is. So I hope you guys like that. Let me know what you guys think about that. And we actually do have work. Um, Greg has work. I don't think she has work because she just had a baby. Um, oh, I think she does have work, but we need the money, plus she just kind of got off, so, yeah, actually, I kind of want them to take another vacation day, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have them take one more because of the baby, so I'm gonna have them go ahead, oh, <gasps> can we not do it anymore, take family, we can take family leave, A, we can take another family leave, so we're gonna have them go ahead and take another family leave. So she's going to go ahead and help these babies because we got to get that done. So they're both calling here. Lolita is now on family leave for one day. Okay, so we got to go downstairs. We got to tend to these babies. They are angry, angry, angry. All right, so you can go ahead and bottle feed, um, change diaper. You can bounce, um, coo at, we will cuddle, make a silly face. We will do the same for Carmen as well. Wait, did we even feed? Oh, yeah. Uh, we will breastfeed. We'll breastfeed Carmen. Uh, change her diaper. We'll bounce her. Coo in her. Cuddle. Make a silly face. And we will, um... Hmm, just talk to her, I guess. Alright, let's go, you guys. Let's go. Greg is now on family leave. So, I am gonna have them on family leave because we just had babies. We need one more day off. We gotta get situated and everything, so... If you feel me, if you catch my drift here. They're so cute. Aww. 
Oh, you're 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 so they're gonna take care of the babies. Oh, so cute. Alright, what can we do here? Um, we will rock, talk, um, show off too. Ha, ah, that's hilarious. Didn't even know you could do that. Okay, well, I think the babies are all good. So we're going to go upstairs and we're going to take care of our own needs. We'll have them prepare some breakfast. She can go upstairs and prepare some breakfast. We'll have her serve some hmm, pancakes. We'll have her serve up some pancakes for everyone. Okay, where the hell did you get that plate from? Is this from your inventory? You are dirty. You are a dirty little gal. And let's sell some of this. We could earn a few extra simoleons now, could we? <gasps> Aww! Authentic birth certificate? Since when did we get these? I didn't even know we could get those. Should we put them above the crib? Should we sell those pictures and put them? I think we're going to do that. We're going to sell these little pictures up here. And we're going to put the birth certificates above the crib. Hey, we could use the extra money. I have no problem with earning a little extra money. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, A vital document that records the birth of a child. In a functional wood frame, the certificate shows the date, place, and the doctor that delivered the child. An important doc to show that you're human. The doctor that delivered it. So this must have came with get to work. Did it come with get to work? Let me know, because that is absolutely adorable. I love the little birth certificates that you can hang up on the wall. That is cute. That is so cute. Okay, but anyways, um, <clears throat> we're going to have him go ahead and take his shower, and he can go ahead and use the restroom. Oh, my God. What are you going to do with this damn thing? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? She's cooking up some pancakes. And then you can go ahead and grab a serving, and I want you to grab a serving as well. There you go. Go pee, my friend. Yep. Is this sink not working or something? No, the sink's working fine. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, so they're going to sit down on the couch and eat and talk together here. Let's have him go ahead and... You can ask him about his day. Um, tell a joke about penguins. Do it. I dare you. Um, gossip a little bit. Boomo. And we're going to have them talk Let to some of their friends here, because I know they have friends. Oh, she don't have any friends yet. He has a friend, though. we got to have him talk to his friend. We have to have him talk to his friend. Um, Perhaps you can... What? He's nearby. Apparently, he's nearby. Is this him? Well, I don't see him. Hmm. I do not see him, you guys. Hmm. I love the ambiance. It's so like morning outside. I love it. Oh, he's at our freaking front door. Well, would you look at that? Invite him in. Invite him in. Maybe you can have a conversation with him today because we need to make friends. We need to make some friends. Oh, geez. Yeah, go help the babies. Go help the babies. Go help the babies. Can we hire a nanny? We probably can't. No, there's no nanny. If there was a nanny, I would have hired her ass quick as hell, though. We're going to ask him about his day. We'll brighten his day a little bit here. Enthuse about interest. Express admiration. Um, oh, reveal brilliant idea. We'll go ahead and hip bump him since we're feeling energized this morning. Um, we'll be funny a little bit here. Tell him an inside joke. Hey, where you going? No, we're not asking you to leave. Do not leave. Do not leave. We are friends. Friends, not food. Friends, not food. Tell a knock-knock joke, and that's all we can do for now. Um, go ahead and put that away. And I wanted to work on a skill. What is she going to need? What skills? She's going to need logic, isn't she? I think that's what she needs. Yeah, she's going to need logic. So perhaps we can buy... Um, I don't think there's a telescope. I don't think there's a telescope, at least not yet in the game. You guys, I cannot wait till they add seasons. They need to add seasons and university. Those two are like a must-have. Seriously. My mother is calling me. Should I take this? I don't know if I should take this or not. 
Okay, I'm gonna take this call. I'll be back in one second. <laughs> All right, I'm back, and that was a really strange phone call. Hmm. Okay, I'm surprised that she wouldn't actually text me something like that. Uh, that was not worth calling me for. Anyways, um, we need logic skill. Logic, logic, logic. <sighs> We're getting a chess table that we can barely freaking afford. We're gonna need it. Um, what color should we get? We'll get the white one. But I don't even know where to put... Oh, we could put it outside here. Yeah. There we go. We can get some chairs. We'll get the kitchen, the uh, cheap kitchen chairs. That's what we'll do. Look at these cheap ones. These cheapo cheapos. You guys, we are dirt poor. We are dirt poor. We are dirt poor. But welcome to life, right? Um, what in play? Um, I guess you could just keep doing this. This is what I want you to do for the remainder of the damn day. I want you to work on that logic skill because we're really going to need that for this career. Plus, she's a smart sim, so. That's what I want her to do. She's a smart sim. Look at our little family tree. Aw, Carter Adams is the son. Aw. Mother, father, sister. So we have our family tree. If you guys didn't know, they did add a family tree to The Sims 4 in, in an update. So you can finally see the kids that they're having. It's not really cute. I love it. And we have our little stats here. Meals cooked. That's awesome. I, I, I just love Sims 4. I just love it so much. I just love it. They they have a good relationship. They really do. Go ahead and do an impression. We will tell an inside joke. Um, we'll joke about politicians for a little bit here. We'll tell him a funny story. Um, we'll tell a joke about vampires. Let's see. Let's tell an outrageous story. Um, tell him a knock knock joke. Okay, I don't know what the hell he's doing, but that was really damn weird. Tell another outrageous story. Um, tell a funny story. Oh, reach logic level 2. Lolita can now collect plant samples and analyze them under a microscope. She can also discuss logic with other sims. Awesome. Awesome, Lolita. Awesome. We need to have her gain relationship. Look, he has his friend over. They're just chilling here at the house. I feel bad because we can't even hear the baby. Oh my god. We can't even hear the baby. Bottle feed, change diaper, uh, make silly face, and cuddle. Um, bottle feed, change diaper, make silly face, and I want to cuddle. I want to cuddle with my baby. There we go, and cuddle. Hopefully he doesn't leave while we're taking care of the babies. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Aw, new baby. No movement in a sim's life is more joyous than, than a, the birth of a child. And not just a child, but two children. On a roll, funny conversation. He's feeling really playful. He wants to watch comedy on TV. So we'll have him go ahead and sit down, and he can go ahead and watch the comedy channel. And we'll drag this plate to the trash. I actually have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. It's not coming, though. I have to sneeze. <gasps> <Yeah! coughs> Shit. I usually never sneeze in my videos. And that sneeze hurt because I did it through my throat. And I never sneezed through my throat. Ouch. Oh, my throat is going to be so damn sore. My throat is going to be very sore. Very, very, very sore. Oh, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> I started it sounded like she said Frosty the Snowman. She's on a roll, you guys. Look at her. Look at her and her little logic skill. No, why do you gotta get going right when I? No, no, my friends, no, no. Hey, at least we have a good relationship. We have a nice friend. We have a good relationship. He wants to write a joke. Mm. I don't think we're gonna do that here. Try for baby. We just had a baby. We just had a baby. But if you want another baby, then all right. Oh God, who's calling? Incoming call from Eliza. No, I don't care about you, Eliza. Sorry. Sorry, Eliza. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Lolita's just gonna play a little bit of chess here. Reach level four comedy. Hey, you can re you you gain comedy when watching this. Sh I don't even know anything about this game. Like, I need to know more about this game. Seriously. She's doing good with her skills, though. Greg earned his money. Hey, so they are earning money as if they went to work, which is awesome. I think we're gonna take as much family leave as we can. I think I kind of want to, but the, today I feel like today's the last day. You know, we're kind of settled in now. 
Oh, and the kids are downstairs yeah. sleeping, so there ain't really much to do. Except, I'm just gonna put this on speed three. She don't have nothing else to do. And he's- oh. Apparently he's laying, laying down. Um, okay. Um, he is hungry, so maybe we'll have him eat some food here. Go ahead and open the fr Oh my god, we have so much to eat. Grab a serving. Grab a serving before some of this goes bad. Yeah, let's grab a serving of some of that food. And when you're finished, you can clean it up. She's doing good. <laughs> Fabulously wealthy. Hey, I feel like we should get that trash can that gives you money, but I don't even think we have enough for that. But let's do some punching <laughs> practice here. Work on that um, athletic skill. Work on that athletic skill a little bit, bro. Bro, bro, bro. She's doing good. Look at her. She's feeling focused and everything. She actually has to pee. We'll have her pee when it when she na when she really needs it, like when it turns red. Uh oh, I hear someone crying. What's wrong, babies? What's wrong? Please don't cry, baby. Please, please don't cry, please. Oh my God, he's always going to sleep. No, you're gonna take a nap. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna nap. That's all you're doing is napping. You're gonna take a short little nap. To help you sleep a little bit. That's all you're doing. I'm not having her get off until her bladder turns red. Then that means that it's in dire need. Yep, it's in dire need. It is in dire need. Go, girl. Run to that toilet now. Run. There. P. P. Yes. Get that P out. She's hungry. We're going to open up this fridge here. She can go ahead and grab some pancakes. And then when she's finished, we'll go ahead and have her clean up and clean up that. And everything's breaking, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move the shower out of the way so she can mop it up. Uh -huh. Oh my god, the babies are crying. Help the babies. Help the babies. Page down. Yes, there we go. Um, we're gonna help these babies here. We're gonna go ahead and bottle feed, change dirty diaper, make silly face, and cuddle. And we're gonna bottle feed and change diaper. We're coming up, baby. We're coming up. Hold on. We're finishing up our meal. I said to clean it up. Clean it, child. Clean it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and repair that. I'm not replacing it. We are repairing it. We are saving our money. Did she ever get paid? They didn't pay her. Was today a work day? It was a work day, and they didn't even fucking pay her. Wow. How crappy are they? It's probably because she hasn't gotten her promotion yet. That's probably why. Mop, mop up the puddles. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can't put the shower back? What? Why can't I put the shower back? I can't put the shower back, you guys. Maybe that move objects. Can now, bitch. <laughs> Can now. <laughs> Let's be be done. Move there we go. Oh my god, everything's breaking. Repair. Hey, she's getting her repair skill up, though. Let's be real. Um, scavenge for parts. Throw away. Mop up. She's finding lots of crap, you guys. She's finding lots of crap. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of... Oh, yes! 40 some mullions. I could use every single last bit of that. We are dirt poor with our money. Dirt poor. Okay, time for bed. He's in bed. He's in bed, but he's got to pee. We're going to have her go ahead and jump into bed. He he was He's going to be getting up in the middle of the night anyway, so we're just going to have him go pee now really quickly and then jump right back into bed. And we will be back in the morning. Um, I'm not going to stop it because there's really no point in stopping it because the nighttime goes by so damn quick. Oh, it's almost Carter and Carmen's birthday already. <gasps> That means we're gonna have to do another room renovation. Holy crap, you guys. Time really does fly when you're having fun. It really does. Babies are mad, everyone. Babies are freaking mad. Let's go downstairs right this second. Bottle feed, change diaper, uh, make silly face, cuddle, and that should be good. Um, we will breastfeed, change dirty diaper, make silly face, and cuddle. So let's go down right now. Make sure we get all those needs. Hunger, social, hygiene, work for Lolita will start soon. Oh, crap, we'll doodle do. Does he have work? No, he's off until Saturday, so we're going to go to work with her. Yes, we're going to go to work with her. 
Oh, they're becoming good friends with each other. How cute. Is he done taking care of... Uh, yeah, he's done taking care. Go ahead and eat some food. Go ahead, head upstairs. Open up your fridge. Um, Have some breadsticks. Grab some of that. Is she hungry? She's hungry as well, but she's not going to have time to eat. Nope. She's going to have to eat when she gets to work, so we'll just wait until 8 o'clock. Yep, we're going to join her on her day at the police department. So, oh, I'm so excited. I love, I love good to work, you guys. I love good to work so much. It's so fun. It's so fun. It is so fun. I love good to work. Ah, training day two, train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready on your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your rep reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and oh, when yawning and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mm. I'm like so tired. My eyes are watering. Whew. Clue discover. Lily's discover that a suspect has brown hair. Female, adult, very active. Brown hair, adult, female, very active. So we have to go on patrol. Uh, how do we go on patrol? The crime map can be used. Oh, the crime map. Okay. So let's go on patrol. Here we go. We're going on patrol. Day two. I've never done this, so they're, they're, they're really giving us a lot of stuff, and I'm really happy about that. Oh, I'm ready, you guys. I oh, we're in a rich neighborhood. Oh. Okay, when an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation, make sure they obey the law. So basically, I'm getting paid to talk to people. That's awesome. And this is a quiet neighborhood. I don't expect anyone to be here littering and all. It's just it's a quiet neighborhood. I really don't expect anything bad to happen. So maybe, is there anyone out and about? Because I want to have a conversation. I want to talk to some people. Is anyone out and about? Hello? Anyone out and about? Hello? Oh, I see somebody. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with this girl? Floof. Seven, oh, I think she's into this para... Uh, whatever it's called. Paranormal shit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to her here. Look at us with our little walk, walk fat. She is such a cute sim. Isn't she such a cute sim, though, you guys? Isn't she a cute sim? Let's be real. Let's be real. She is such a cute sim. Oh, I see somebody behind her that's showing the picture. Aw, she's such a cute sim. Look at her. Look at her little walk. Oh, dag, dag. Dag, dag. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, why is she angry? Alright, well, can we try to calm her down a bit here? Try to calm down. Girl, calm it down. Everyone's so freaking angry with the... Oh, so we have to chat with civilians and issue citation. Let's brighten her day a bit and we'll give her a heartfelt compliment. And of course, we're gonna stay late because we always do. Nine hours. All awesome, our Christmas up. So we have to issue a citation. Um, is anyone littering? I don't see anyone littering, and I don't see anyone fighting. I see a guy fishing on this beautiful Thursday morning. Oh, I love that little gazebo. That's beautiful, and the boat. That's pretty. No fights yet, though, you guys. No fights. I don't see anything. It's quiet around here. It's a rich neighborhood. I mean, I really don't expect many people to be fighting. Try to calm her down. Okay, did we calm her down? I think we calmed her down. Boast about family, um, ask about her day, um, discuss logic puzzles, um, talk about handiness, tell a funny story, talk about handiness, um, ask her about her career. So it's gonna be a little friendly here, and I still don't see anything bad happening. We can't, there's nothing citation worthy. There's nothing citation worthy. Uh oh, I feel like there's a I feel like something's about to go down here. I'm actually allowed to issue a citation for these people. So, 
it says it can be issued. Um, and it's letting me, so should I go issue it? They're about to fight. This is gonna be interesting. We're friends! We've made a friend, you guys. There's about to be a fight. Let's get up here right now. Let's go, girl. Get up here. I don't know where the hell you are, but let's go. <gasps> we can't issue one anymore. Oh, we had the opportunity to. Shoot, we should have issued it. I didn't even know. Crap, they probably stopped because they saw a cop coming up. Look at her. She's like one of those little fashion police girls. Look at her. She's like, walk, walk, fashion baby, looking cute in my little police outfit. Mm-hmm. You know it. You know it. This dude is hella angry for no reason, though. Like, get, like, quit with the attitude. For real. Quit with that attitude. Um... Can we even issue one? I'm like waiting for her to like litter or something. <laughs> no, you guys. Nothing's happening. You guys, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I don't know what to do. Oh, this dude is hella angry. We better follow him. This dude's angry. Let's see what he gets into. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit! This sh what the fuck? We didn't even do anything to you! We didn't even do anything. Get bitch! Uh-uh, you're getting a citation for that. We didn't even do anything to you. That is bullshit. Do not ever, bitch. Don't fuck with me, bitch. No. This bitch. I swear to God. We didn't even do anything to her. Oh, return to the PlayStation. Okay. This bit. Oh, no. We were just standing there, and she just came up to us and decided to fight us. What the fuck is this? The ghetto? No. Stop with all that. No. Mm-mm. No. Oh, my gosh. That was... Holy crap. That was just sad. That was sad. Okay. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin APB while you have a rough description of the suspect. The more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. Well, that kind of confused me. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific and descriptive... The, the more the specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perpetrator, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. Okay, that makes sense. So issue an all points bulletin. This is a bulletin board, so I'm assuming this is how we do it. She's got a pee. Crap. So she's issuing all points bulletin. I don't know what the hell this does. Is it? Where is it taking me? Because we've got a pee. Wherever we're going, there better be a public restroom. <laughs> Can we go to the dock, please? Uh-oh, my phone fell on the floor. My phone fell on the floor. My phone fell on the floor. All points bulletin. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in the area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you towards the suspect. Use the notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. Okay, so we have a little notebook. How do we... Where's our notebook? Open notebook? Ah, here's our notebook. Detective Kerr, the suspect has brown hair, female, adult, and active. Brown hair, female, and adult. Hmm. <gasps> Is this our friend? They're both adults. They both look like they have brown hair. Ask about suspect. We're gonna ask around. That's what we're gonna do. Um, is she an, an adult? She is as well. What color's her hair? Ah, woo. <laughs> Sir, 
Papa. Her hair doesn't look brown. It looks red. So I think she's out of the woods. Is there anyone upstairs? Oh my god. They're everywhere. Wait, she don't have brown hair. She has black hair. And she's a young adult. So she's excluded. And these are all males. So I think we're good, you guys. I think we're good to go. Are we? Oh, we're at the art gallery. Okay. So we're asking her here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We're going to get to know her. I want to get to know her a little bit. We're going to see what kind of person she is. She's mean. Ask about career. Hmm. Brighten her day. Brighten her day. She's so negative. I don't even want to talk to this bitch. I don't even want to. Let's talk to her. She's our friend, so we're obviously gonna, you know. Um. We're obviously gonna, um. Oh god, she's gotta pee. We're obviously gonna gain our relationship with her anyway. Ask. I haven't seen anyone like that. Girl, it's probably you. The fuck? Ask about day. Please don't go to jail, though. I'm your friend. Talk about cooking. Um, discuss interests. Um, ask about career. We don't know any of her traits. Crap. She's unemployed. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> that helps us a little bit. That helps us a little bit. Anything with with uh, fitness. Hmm. Express admiration. Have a deep conversation. Um. Hip bump her. Enthused about interest. She's clumsy. If she's clumsy, can she be active? Huh. If she's clumsy, I wonder if she can be active. Give pep talk. We are good friends with her, though. <gasps> she's active. <gasps> it's her. It's her. She's active. Oh, she's active, you guys. So let's see. Brown hair. She's got it. Female. Got it. Is an adult. Got it. Active. Got it. She fits the complete description. Our friend is about to go to jail, guys. Our friend is about to go to jail. But before she goes to jail, we've got to pee. Uh, where's the bathroom? Let's go pee. There we go. Then wash your hands. Wash your hands again. There we go. In an, in an expensive sink. Okay, so where's this girl here? We're going to make an arrest. It's her. We're going to go ahead and ask about suspect one more time. I'm pretty positive it's her. Hip bump. We're arresting her. It's her. Yeah, it's definitely her. She's she's active. Brown hair. She fits every description, so she's definitely the one. Let's hope if she's not the one and there's another Sim that's active, I'm going to seriously shit myself. Oh, jeez. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay, now that you've learned about work in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station to run criminals through the booking station, take you, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your coworkers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit or browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Talk to the chief. Um, get criminal's fingerprints at booking station. Well, don't we have to book her? Fingerprint. Addison. Yeah, she's coming in. And search. Addison. 
She's our friend and she's going to jail. Maybe we could visit her every day, though. I'm sorry, girl. I love you, but this is my job and it's the law. I don't know what you did, but you shouldn't have did it, boo. You shouldn't have done it. Now, get in here. Gotta search you down, girl. Lolita's workday's about to end. Hey, we got a perfect one here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take mugshot of Addison. Oh, Addison! Oh, can we tell her that she's got a change in? We're gonna lock her in the cell. We gotta change her into those um into the outfit. Okay, well we're basically good to go. She is hungry, uh, but I think we're about to run out of time anyway, so we're good to go. There we go, end of shift. Lolita did a fantastic job. There may be a shiny, shinier badge and a new title in her future. Lolita has been promoted to officer. She will now make an additional eight per hour for a grand total of 28 per hour. She has also received the following bonus, 160 simoleons, and she received new clothes. Her next shift is Friday at eight o'clock in the morning, and she earned 234. Yes, sir, guys, we are earning that money. Earning that money, earning that money, earning that money. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we gotta go home, take care of the BBs, take care of the little BBs that we have. They're gonna age up soon. Their birthday's probably tomorrow, actually. Promoted to Officer A, that's what's up. Okay, who's next? We haven't been to the doctor career in a long time. Um, who works on Friday? He don't work till Saturday, so we gotta follow her for a little bit here. Um... He's 7 a.m., 8, 8 to 5, 7 to 3. 7 to 3, 8 to 5. She has a longer shift. Oh, my God. She towers him with making money, though. She towers him. He makes 23. She makes 28. So, but still. All right. She's hungry. She needs some food. Let's go ahead and have... Oh, uh, well, let's clean off spoiled food first. Yeah, we've probably got plenty of spoiled food in here. And then you go ahead and open up and have some of that. Are the babies okay? Both BBs are sleeping, so we're good to go. He wants to play chess. Um, how about no? Um, go ahead and have a shower and use the restroom. That's what we'll have you do. That's what we will have you do. Use the bathroom, and you can practice a punching. Oh, poor Addison's in jail. Can we chat her? Yes, we can chat her. And we'll send her a bunch of Texas. i will probably say, I'm in jail, girl. I think it's the right one, but I'm not sure. I think she is the right suspect. It never said if she was the right one or not. But I guess we can wait and see and find out. But she's like our best friend, though. I love her. Poor Addison. I wonder what she did. Addison... We, uh, hey, I would have a girl's night out, but we can't invite her anywhere because she's in freaking jail. And I wonder how long she'll be in jail, too. Oh. Talking to our friend in jail. This is like Orange is the New Black, you guys. I swear, this is just like Orange is the New Black. Like, it is just like it. We're going to come downstairs and... We're going to talk to our babies here. We're going to um, bottle feed, change diaper, and make a silly face. Uh, bottle feed, change diaper, and make a silly face. All right, it's time for bed. Yours is yellow. Time to hop into bed. Let's go. Hers is going to be yellow any minute. We're talking to our little baby. I know. Our little baby. All right, let's head upstairs here. She needs a little bit of fun, so we'll watch TV if that's what it takes. Just get it up to green. All right, there we go. We're good to go. Head into bed. And I'm going to end this part right here. I did make it extra long for you guys, so I hope you are happy. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have some do nothing social. Hot. This is obviously for him because she was talking to Addison. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. And I hope you guys are enjoying this LP. I'm loving this LP so much. And I will be, um, for those of you wondering, I will be picking back up with Sims 3 Seasons. I will be recording more of that very soon. Um, out Outdoor Retreat will be finishing up, and Generation Season 2 will be finishing up. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching this episode of The Sims 4 Get to Work. And instead of doing it off camera, I thought that I would just change the names of their, um, 
of their family because they're actually married. Lolita and Greg are actually married, but I put them as two different last names, and I didn't even mean to do that. So we have Carmen Adams, Carter Adams, Lolita Adams, and Greg Stewart. So we're just going to change Greg to Greg Adams so they all have the same last name. And I really like that last name anyway. So there we go. We have Greg Adams. Now they all have the same last name, the Adams family. And I just wanted to do this on camera just so that you guys could see, you know, because I feel like if I didn't record it, that you would think that I forgot. But I didn't forget, I did record it, and I will put this at the very end of part, I think this is part nine, did I say eight? I don't remember, but this is part nine. I will put that at the end. But anyways, thank you all for watching once again. I really appreciate it, and I'm really liking this LP. Let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking of this LP. I'm pumping out these parts ah. because when a new LP comes out, I just get so excited, I just keep recording and filming and recording, plus my mom hasn't been home. So I just keep recording and recording and recording because I can't get interrupted. So I'm really enjoying it. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you all later. I love you all so much. Bye.